Well, it's a stormy and rainy night here in downtown Sacramento, but don't think for one second a little wind and rain would prevent tens of thousands of fans from showing up and showing out. Ninth consecutive sellout crowd on hand to see the beam team in action. And look at this, even Slamson was dressed for the storm tonight. Now these three kids were really excited to be here. Deer at Fox and Company playing in a back-to-back -back after a close win over the Utah Jazz on Tuesday night. And look who's back in town. Former King Bogdan Bogdanovich, now a member of the Atlanta Hawks. 17 points for Bogey in this one. And Fox picking up right where he left off last game. Watch him with a little shake and bake. He loses his shoe and still gets the bucket. Eight points for Fox in the first half. Kings trailed by three going into intermission. We'll fast forward to the fourth quarter where things got a bit interesting. Out on the fast break, Harrison Barnes sending Golden One into a frenzy with this dunk. That tied things at 102 with just over six minutes left in regulation. 22 points for Barnes on the night. Now to the play of the night with less than two minutes to go. Take it away, De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> My goodness, just stop it. Fox catching bodies in the paint. A team high 25 points for Fox, but this would be the killer. With under 30 seconds to go, Fox bringing the ball up the court, but he's stripped by DeJounte Murray, who takes it the other way and finishes 21 points for Murray on the night. And that right there just sucked all the energy at a Golden One Center. Another monster game from Damanis Sabonis. He had 20 points and 14 rebounds. That's his 15th straight double-double, tying the franchise record, but it would come in a losing effort. The Kings fall 120 to 117, and the Hawks snap their four-game losing streak. It feels like this was you know, the first one in a while. It felt like we've lost as it's come down the wire, maybe that first Denver game. Uh, so for the most part, we've done a good job uh, really down the stretch, you know, De'Aaron has been really good for us down the stretch. Uh, just like I said, you know, they, they just made more plays. Both teams have felt like this was a game there was going to be a lot of possessions. You know, the pace that this game was played at, it felt like both teams just kept going on many runs and the other team would respond. And so you know, even we went up four there. There was, you know, I think, a minute 11, minute six left on the clock. And uh, you, know, you knew the game wasn't over. There was still a lot of game left to be played. So uh, you know, I'm sure if the game was another two or three minutes, we could have hit them with another run. It was just, you know, they. They made the final punch. So there will be no beam shining in the night sky. Up next for the Kings, they welcome in LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers this Saturday. At Golden One Center, Kevin John, ABC 10 Sports.